The Northern Lights, Chapter 1, The Decanter of Toke. Blyre and her demon moved through the darkening hall, taking care to keep to one side, out of sight of the kitchen. The three great tables that ran the length of the hall were laid already, the silver and the glass catching what little light there was, and the long benches were pulled out, ready for the guests. Portraits of former masters hung high up in the gloom along the walls. Lyra reached the dais and looked back at the open kitchen door, and seeing no one, stepped up beside the high table. The places here were laid of gold, not silver, and the fourteen seats were not oak benches, but mahogany chairs with velvet cushions. Lyra stopped beside the master's chair and flicked the biggest glass gently with a fingernail. The sound rang clearly through the hall. You're not taking this seriously, whispered her demon. Behave yourself. Her demon's name was Pantalaemon, and he was currently in the form of a moth. A dark brown one so as not to show up in the darkness of the hall. They're making too much noise to hear from the kitchen, Lyra whispered back, and the steward doesn't come in till the first bell. Stop fussing. But she put her ham over the ringing crystal anyway, and Pantalaemon fluttered ahead and through the slightly open door of the retiring room at the other end of the dais. After a moment, he appeared again. There's no one there, he whispered, but we must be quick. Crouching behind the high table, Lyra darted along and through the door to the retiring room, where she stood up and looked around. The only light in here came from the fireplace where a bright blaze of logs settled slightly as she looked, sending a fountain of sparks up into the chimney. She'd lived most of her life in the college, but had never seen the retiring room before. Only scholars and their guests were allowed in here, and never females. Even the maid servants didn't clean in here. That was the butler's job alone. Pantaleemon settled on her shoulder. Happy now, can we go? he whispered. Don't be silly, I want to look around. It was a large room with an oval table of polished rosewood on which stood various decanters and glasses, and a silver smoking mill with a rack of pipes. On a sideboard nearby there was a little chafing dish and a basket of poppy heads. They do themselves well, don't they, Pan? she said under her breath. She sat in one of the green leather armchairs. It was so deep she found herself nearly lying down, but she sat up again and tucked her legs under to look at the portraits on the walls. More old scholars, probably, robed, bearded and gloomy. They stared out of their frames in solemn disapproval. What do you think they talk about, Lyra said, or began to say, because before she'd finished the question, she heard voices outside the door. Behind the chair, quick, whispered Pantaleemon, and in a flash, Lyra was out of the armchair and crouching behind it. It wasn't the best one for hiding behind. She'd chosen one in the very centre of the room, and unless she kept very quiet...